Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Monday, September 13th, 2021. I'm Greg Wilkins, and I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will encourage you, inspire you, motivate you, and put a smile on your face as well. Today's devotional is entitled, From the Inside. In 1907, Henry Jackson Van Dyke, a Presbyterian minister, and at the time he was also an English professor at Princeton University, was asked to preach at Williams College in Massachusetts. One day during breakfast, he walked over and handed a poem to the president of the college, telling him, this was inspired by your mountains, which the Berkshire Mountains were outside of Williams College. And later on, someone asked him, what was his motivation to writing this poem? And he told him this poem is the simple values and beliefs and desires of all Christians. And it's just to encourage us to sing together and it's meant to sing together in groups. And it's to remind us that there's no revolution on earth that could ever take down the kingdom of heaven. And there's no science that could ever tear down religion. And it's and this that therefore, excuse me, therefore, this makes this a song of trust, of faith, and hope. And he demanded that this particular poem be transferred to a hymn and be sung to the hymn tune, Hymn of Joy, which was written by Beethoven, and it's more popularly known as Ode to Joy. Now I do not know if he did this intentionally or if this was intent this was his desire from the jump, but Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the last movement, is the main the main theme of that last movement is known as Ode to Joy, also Hymn of Joy. Now the interesting thing, interesting uh, excuse me, interesting thing about Beethoven is most people believed him to be totally deaf at the time of his Ninth Symphony premiere. Actually, it turns out he still had a very little hearing, but. In 1798, he started losing his hearing. And when someone asked him how it was, he said, it just had been any other profession, this wouldn't have been a problem. But for this profession, this is, this is fearful and troubling. He tried everything. He tried ear trumpets to help out. It didn't help. He, he did anything and everything to try to help himself hear to, to be able to be able to perform and compose, but it didn't work. But it didn't stop him from composing. It kept him going. It kept him going. And even though he can faintly hear, for the most part, what was going on with his Ninth Symphony, which happens to be his final symphony, he had something on the inside. He had an inner ear that came from the inside. So he was able to hear the harmonies that he wrote, even though he couldn't hear it that well when he conducted his premiere. And it just so happens that, that, that the final movement of his final major symphony is entitled Ode to Joy. I want to encourage you a little bit about this this poem, turn him, and to to encourage you through Beethoven's life. Beethoven went through a lot with his hearing, but at the end of the day, his final symphony and the final movement of his symphony was due ode to joy. He didn't lose his joy. He kept his joy. He kept writing. He kept on going. He kept on persevering. Even though he had a hard time and even though it was frustrating, he kept on going. So I encourage you to never lose the joy of the Lord. Nehemiah 8 and 10 reminds us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And they were just coming back from being in captivity in Babylon. So I want to encourage you, they went through that hard time, the Israelites. Whatever hard times we are going through, never lose your joy. There's an old hymn that says, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. You can't allow the joy, the, the world to steal what was given to you by God. You can't allow the world to depress you and frustrate you to the point where you just give up. The joy of your Lord is your strength. So keep that joy on the inside of you and let it drive you, encourage you, and motivate you to do your best and be your best and keep your head up. It's gonna be all right. You're gonna run into some tough times, but let that joy bubbling on the inside keep you motivated and driving and know that you're going to make it. Today's feature song is what I call another mesh of classical meets gospel. Donnie McClurkin in the early mid-90s created a choir called the New York Restoration Choir. And this choir 
did a rendition of the hymn of joy called Joyful Joyful. Henry Van Dyke's poem was entitled Joyful Joyful We Are Dorothy. And I hope you're blessed and I hope you're encouraged by the song. May it give you the encouragement to continue to seek the joy of the Lord and keep the joy of the Lord on the inside of you. No matter what's going on, no matter what's happening in your life, you can make it. With Jesus on your side, everything's going to be all right. So keep that joy blubbing on the inside. The world can't take it from you, so don't give it to it. So keep it going and may your faith and your joy and your peace be strengthened through God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for who you are. We know that your strength is made perfect in our weakness and your grace is sufficient for us. Therefore, we will hope and we will believe by faith that your joy will give us the strength and your spirit will give us the power to conquer anything through you that we face. We thank you and we magnify your name and we thank you in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Before we go, I always like to do birthday shout outs, and we have quite a few on today. Happy birthday to Maurice Wilson. Happy birthday, Deborah Johnson. Happy birthday, Soren King. Happy birthday to Shelby Nicole. Happy birthday to Quan Proctor. And a very special blessed happy birthday to Minister Linda Bradley, who I personally thank as I see you as a mentor. And I thank you for the way you are open, the way you teach, the way you inspire us to continue to check ourselves before we present our anything to anybody and i thank you for your leadership i thank you for your power and teaching i thank you for your patience with everyone that you teach and I, I thank you for everything you instilled in me and may god bless you and everyone else today with a very blessed birthday that's going to do it for today's edition of the daily pause for september 13th 2021 make sure you hit that like button and share this video with anyone you feel you may be blessed by it Contact me by leaving some comments in the comment section or reach out to me on Facebook at The Daily Pause or by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. I pray you are blessed. I pray you are encouraged. And I hope that you continue to love each other, continue to take care of yourselves, and enjoy today's feature song, Joyful, Joyful, We Are Do Joyful, Joyful by the New York Restoration Choir, originally from the album Thank You, Jesus, but it's part of a compilation album called George Foreman Presents Inspirations, released in 2010 by the Orchard Enterprises. Continue to love each other, continue to be safe, and remember, every day, there's always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song. It starts right now. God bless. Words are joyful, joyful we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Our hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Sin and sadness and drive the dark of doubt away. You're the giver of immortal gladness. So fill us with the light of day.
Cause us to 